an introduction to seriation. Hello friends, I am the parrot. Welcome to this lesson. Let us see what you will learn in this chapter. We are going to learn what is the order of objects and how to arrange objects in an order based on their characteristics. It's morning time and Chotu has just woken up. He gets up and brushes his teeth first. Then he takes bath. After taking bath, he gets ready for school. Then he eats breakfast and drinks milk. This is the order of Chotu's morning activities. This means every morning he does these activities one after the other in this order. So come on children, now take a paper and one by one write down all the activities you do after waking up in the morning and before leaving home for school. First, write the first activity you do after waking up in the morning. Then write down the next activity you do and so on. And write all the activities you do at home before leaving for your school. This is the order of your activities. Does the order of your activities matches Chotu's order of activities? Do you know that just like Chotu and your daily activities are in the same order? Similarly, different objects or individuals can also be arranged in an order. To understand this better, let us see the balls placed on the table of Chotu's house. Starting from the left, first is the largest bowl in which fruits are kept. Then a smaller bowl is kept in which Chotu's mother serves curry. And finally, the smallest bowl is kept in which Chotu eats his food. This means, based on their size, these three bowls are arranged in the order from the biggest to the smallest. In this way, objects can be arranged in an order based on any of their characteristics. This process is called seriation. Children, do you also have such bowls of different sizes at home? Can you arrange them in an order based on their size? Now after eating his morning breakfast and drinking milk, Chotu leaves for school. On the way, he sees a lemonade vendor. The lemonade vendor has three different size of glasses. A small glass, a medium size glass and a large glass. So children, can we say that all three glasses are placed in an order? Yes. You guys are absolutely correct. Like the bowls, these glasses are also placed in an order. Starting from the left, the smallest glass is kept first. Followed by the medium sized glass. And at the end, the largest glass is kept. This means that all the three glasses, depending on their size, are placed in an order from small to large size. Do you understand? Chotu gets tempted and asks the lemonade vendor for a small glass of lemonade. Then he quickly drinks lemonade and leaves for school. So children, that is all for today. In this video, we have learned what is the order of objects. How objects are arranged in order from largest to smallest or smallest to largest depending on their characteristics. And this process of arranging objects in order is called the seriation. In the next video, we will see some more examples of seriation. Till then, you should definitely...
definitely practice arranging the objects around you in different types of order based on their characteristics. Bye friends! Examples of Seriation So children, in the previous video you have learned what is the order of objects. Based on the characteristics of the objects, how they are arranged in large to small or small to large order. And this process of arranging things in order is called Seriation. In this video, we will see some examples of seriation in which we will arrange different people and objects in order based on their characteristics. Today, Chotu's class is going for a picnic. And Chotu's teacher asks all the children to stand in groups of four. Then she asks the four children to stand in a line in the small to large order based on their height. Chotu and his three other friends, Aarti, Neha and Sonu, begin to stand in a line. First of all, being the shortest among all the four children, Chotu stands in front. Neha, who is taller than him but shorter than the rest, stands behind him. Sonu stands behind Neha. Then finally, Aarti stands behind Sonu. But Sonu just notices that he is taller than Neha but falls to notice that Aarti is shorter than him. So children, are Chotu and his friend standing in the correct order of height? Chotu and Neha are standing in the right order, but Sonu and Aarti are not. Aarti realizes this as she is not able to see anything by standing behind Sonu. Therefore, Aarti should have stood in front of Sonu as she is shorter than Sonu in height but makes Sonu realize his mistake. Sonu, just now you saw that you are taller than Neha but you did not see that I am also shorter than you. I am taller than Neha and shorter than you. So I should stand behind Neha whereas I should stand in front of you. Oh yes, Aarti, you are absolutely right. So children, while making the order, Sonu saw that he was taller than the children standing in front. But he did not see whether the children who were not standing in the line are shorter in height than Sonu and hence he made this mistake. Finally, Chotu and three of his friends stood in the correct increasing order of their height, that is, from short to tall. Children reach the park for picnic. There, Chotu and his friends decide to play seven stones. First of all, Aarti and Chotu start making a pile of stones based on their size from big to small. For this, Aarti gathers four stones from the surrounding. Then she puts the biggest stone at the bottom. To keep the rest of the stones, she asks for Chotu's help. Chotu, now out of the remaining three stones, put the largest stone on this stone. But Aarti, why are we placing these stones in the big to small order? 
safely place a large size stone on a small size stone then it will fall down because its balance will be disturbed look chotu just like this therefore we will place a big stone at the bottom and then smaller than that so that the balance of the stones is maintained oh okay now out of the remaining two stones put the big stone on top of these two stones all right aarti and now let's also put the large stone very good chotu now our stone pile is ready come on let's play seven stones now children in this example you saw how chotu and aarti made a pile of stones by keeping them in the decreasing order of their size one by one that is from large to small size so children tell me did you enjoy seeing examples of seriation okay so that's all for today in this video we have learned how to organize different people or objects in order from small to large or from large to small i hope you have understood this topic properly bye friends